As in most sports these days, reducing head injuries is a top priority. Supercross riders' helmets are some of the most advanced in the world when it comes to protecting your most valuable asset. You never know how someone's gonna crash. Um, the sport is progressing at a rate. The bikes are faster and jump higher. So our job is really to keep up with the sport, keep up with advancements in motorcycles themselves. We're gonna have a linear drop as well as a sled that's gonna come through, hit the bottom of the helmet, and you're gonna get a linear and a rotational impact all at the same time. The impact on a snell standard hit requires a stiffer shell, but then having a stiffer shell, you have to think about how you're gonna make the inside of the helmet softer to absorb the lower speed hits. The Flex Progressive Layering System is much like the suspension on a trophy truck. It's designed to absorb high speed impacts, low speed impacts, and everything in between. EPP is expanded polypropylene. EPS is expanded polystyrene. EPO is expanded polyolefin. This isn't like a styrofoam picnic cooler. This is developed specifically for impact management. The EPS is like a car bumper. It'll absorb a crash, but not rebound. The EPO, it's much like a suspension. It'll absorb and then give back. And then the EPP is much like the spring on a suspension, where it pushes back completely to where it started. The EPP allows for adaptive fit and the rotational energy is absorbed by these pieces actually moving around inside the helmet. In Supercross, you're usually hitting the ground at an angle, not a, you know, just drop uh, straight down. And so what this does is actually help absorb just the two milliseconds is all it takes, is absorb that energy right at those moments. 